What's going on you guys? My name is Cameron Noel. Welcome back to my channel. I have not posted in a minute because <laughs> college has had its foot on my neck since November and I've been <coughs> struggling. You don't care about this. That's not what we're here. This is not why we're here. Let's get to the chase. I'm making another Baggers Club video. My Baggers Club video of me ranking all the seasons 1 through 17 is at 1,100 views. So as a small content creator and someone who has like literally like less than like 500 views and less than 1,000, I would be stupid if I didn't give the people what they wanted. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm giving you people what you want. And we're gonna be doing Honest opinions, I wasn't do unpopular opinions, but I don't know if these opinions are unpopular and I know that that would probably be really annoying for people to like click on a video and then see that everything I'm saying people agree with. So, no. So this is honest opinions about season five of Bad Girls Club. Let me see. So what's up? A little questionable here. My first honest opinion is Leah was not a great bad girl. I'm a dumbass whore! I'm a dumbass whore! The first thing needs to learn is that in Miami, if you call someone a whore, you get punched. And let me tell you why. Leah very much annoyed me. Like, everybody was right. Leah did change. Brandy said she changed. Kristen said she changed. Like, everybody was like, Leah's not the same Leah she was when she came in here. I think Leah was the very first bad girl to try way too hard. Like, it was very clear that she was trying to, like, show, oh, I'm the bad girl. I can know how to fight. I'm da 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 And it just was not entertaining. Like, when she fought Kristen, after she fought Kristen, she was like, how bad did I get her? And I was like, come on, girl. Like, it's not that deep. And then the reunion uh, got on my nerves because she would not shut up. And I hate when bad, girls come, when bad girls come to the reunion and, like, they don't make any type of sense, like, whatsoever. Like, literally. Literally, she would ask Kristen the question and then yell at her for trying to answer the question that she asked and then try to fight her. Or she would ask her a question and then run up and try to fight her. And it was like, girl, you're doing way too much. Even Kat, when Kat came out and she saw how hard Leah was going at Kristen, it was like, why do you care so much? And then Perez Hilton put out a very good answer. Like, why would you forgive Brandy and then not forgive Kristen? Does it make sense? No, it does not make sense. Really not that serious, especially because Kristen did not want to fight her. Kristen literally did not want to fight her. She hid behind. Kristen was like, oh my God. She's like, I don't want to fight you. So like, let it go. Okay, my second honest opinion is that the producers having Morgan and Kristen come back to like trash the Backers Clubhouse was very stupid. The yeah. lead block Norm. is bad. And I get it, Chris, like Morgan and Kristen were like fan favorites and the production also probably wanted to get more, like give the fans more screen time with them. But it was honestly really stupid because one, they didn't destroy any of the girls' stuff, at least not that we saw. Maybe they did it off camera, but they didn't destroy any of the girls' stuff. They just broke mirrors, they spray painted the walls. And it's like, these girls are literally going home when they get back. They're gonna go home and that's it. They're not gonna, and then on top of that, even, even then, they didn't record the girls coming home. Season five ends with Erica, Leah, and Ashley jumping Christina. And then it ends. Like we don't see the girls go back to the house. We don't see the reaction to the house being destroyed and being spray painted and Morgan and them painting like bitch on the walls and F you and da 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 da. Like we never see them like react to it. So I was like, what was the point? Like, yeah, Morgan got to get her revenge by destroying the house that the girls aren't paying for and that production is gonna clean up. Like literally, it didn't make sense. It was like, it was whatever. Like it was stupid. I think that was my opinion, it was stupid. My third honest opinion is that Perez Hilton was very lenient on the jumping. I get it. Like Tanisha wasn't like super hardcore with the girls of season 11 when they jumped, but like Perez really didn't like, I feel like he didn't lay into the girls. Like he didn't say, why did you guys, why would you guys jump Christina? Like you guys jumped her. Like that was messed up. Like she was fighting Ashley. Why are you guys jumping in? Like it's really just really stupid. Like none of them apologize to Christina. None of them prayers and say, you guys, I was messed up. You're just kind of like, oh yeah, look ugly. It's like, yeah, but like, they just jumped her. Like they just really like jumped this girl, like jumped her for no reason. The next honest opinion is that the ending of season five was very forced. And I'm not talking about like the jumping sequence. I'm talking about like, it was very clear that there was no drama left after Kristen left. There was no drama. There was no drama. You know, Ashley and Christina were like not cool, but like they weren't beefing like that. Erica literally spent the entire season staying in and having sex with like her boyfriend. And Leah wasn't, had, didn't have anybody to beef with. And like, it was so clear, like go back and watch like the last two episodes. Like I believe Leah went around the house and like trashed it and was like yelling at everybody, trying to get them to fight her. And they all literally just laughed at her because girl, what are you doing? Like there's no, there's no beef, there's no drama. So like you're trying to start things. 
And then with Erica and Ashley teaming up against Christina and like throwing her stuff in the pond and throwing it in the fountain and throwing her stuff over the, in the bay, like, Erica, you had no beef with Christina and you were asleep all season. Like, girl, you were asleep all season. And that's okay. Like, you, if you want to sleep all season, that's your own thing. But like, you know. And honestly, I'm surprised they didn't, I'm surprised production didn't have Erica kicked out because usually like a lot of bad girls have been coming out and saying that like, if a girl is really boring, then production will ask someone to put them out the house. So I'm surprised they didn't ask someone to put Erica out the house because Erica really didn't contribute anything throughout the entire season. Like honestly, Christina was there for like what, three or four episodes and she had a way bigger impact than Erica did of her 14 episodes on the show and the reunion. It was kind of stupid. Erica was kind of like a Shannon. No, because even Shannon did more than Erica. So yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's not funny. <laughs> Okay, next honest opinion. I really don't care about Morgan getting put out. One thing about the comments, they are not on your side. So I advise you. Like originally I was like, oh my gosh, it's so messed up. They put her stuff out. They dragged her down the stairs by her legs and then her and, <laughs> her and Brandy played patty cake. So if you guys don't know, a YouTuber by the name of Justin JC, he does interviews with bad girls and he interviewed Brandy and Brandy stated that not only was Morgan negative, but she also said the N-word. And y'all already know how I feel about the N-word. I'm a black person. If you're not black, don't say it, period. So I'm not gonna defend somebody who had like, who said racial slurs. So was it wrong for them to put her stuff out? Absolutely. Do I care? No, I don't care. Now listen, I don't know if that was, uh, that's what Brandy said. Eric, Morgan hasn't done an interview. So I don't know if Morgan really said the N word, but honestly, I wouldn't put it past her. So I really don't care that, I really don't care. I don't, I don't care. I do feel bad that they put her, that they like put her business out that she was homeless, if she was homeless at the reunion. I feel bad, they, I don't think you should expose anybody for being without a home. That's, that's messed up. But I mean, you say a racial slur, you're negative, you call people dirty, and then you call people fat as an insult. So people are not gonna like you. Yeah, people are gonna like you. My next, my honest, honest opinion is honestly that everybody was afraid of Kat. Everybody was afraid of Kat. Everybody was afraid of Kat. Like nobody had the energy for Kat. Like Erica didn't like Kat, Danielle didn't like Kat, and nobody stepped up to Kat. And I mean, I understand, like Kat is a boss. Like I would not want to fight that girl. I would not want to get into an argument with that girl. So I 100% understand why the girls were not trying to step to Kat, but they were definitely scared. Like first episode, literally Kat pushed Danielle out the way. And then Danielle called herself trying to demand an apology from Kat. And Kat was like, I'm no, like you're not gonna get an apology. You need to get thicker skin. Like no, they were not trying to, nobody was trying to like beef with Kat. They were scared. And it, I mean, you know what? No, let me change my words because I don't, I don't know the bad girls specifically. So I'm not gonna say they were, I'm not gonna say the girls were scared of Kat, but I definitely think that the girl, nobody in that house wanted to have a serious conflict with her. I don't think anybody wanted to have any serious altercations with her, be it verbal or otherwise. Nobody wanted to seriously get into it with her. Like, nobody. Like, nobody. Nobody wanted that smoke. And I completely understand. Completely understand. Okay, next opinion. I think Brandy, how do I put this? I don't think Brandy lived up to this fighter persona that she put up. I wouldn't even say that Brandy like came on the show and was like, oh yeah, I'm a, she did. Because Brandy was just like, I'm crazy. You know, I break things, I don't break faces, yada, yada, yada. And I'm not saying that like girls have to come to the backers club and like beat each other up and like just like be Muhammad Ali because that's not what I'm advocating on this channel. I'm just talking about the show. But from what she portrayed, I feel like Brandy kind of portrayed herself as like this fighter girl, this firecracker who can like take anyone on. And I don't think she really like, lived up to that like when she was fighting morgan they kind of patty cake each other's faces not even patty cake they were just like doing all of this and it really wasn't doing anything and then like when she wanted to fight leah leah kept saying well, you want to fight fight like hit me and then she just kept getting in leah's face and screaming and then before she left she had the perfect opportunity to fight leah and she was like and she didn't do it and i was just like and i mean that's fine like you don't have to but i just feel like this persona of her being crazy she didn't live up to it like she told us a story about how she dug her heels into one of her like stripper co-workers legs, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like she didn't portray herself as like the fighter that she was building herself up to be. 
But I still think Brandy was very interesting. And I think Brandy made the season. Like the season, season five would not have been season five without Kristen and Brandy. And even Morgan brought a lot to it. You know, I don't think that the season would have been dead without them and Christina, honestly. Like, Christina, like, carried the show, like, the second half. She really did, for me. For me personally, me personally. And my last honest opinion about season five, I think season five has the best monologues. Hand them the Oscar. I'm asleep. I feel like if I'm asleep, everybody should respect that I'm asleep. Don't wake me up. I hear bitches yelling. I've been asleep. Let me sleep. Brandy is a sleepy bitch. I've been asleep. Respect my sleep. I'm asleep. Shut up when Brandy is asleep. Okay, with that being- Okay, so one last thing I forgot to mention was I think that Ashley on season five was the worst replacement. Like literally, she had nothing, no purpose, no storyline. And she just did not do what she said she was gonna do. She like had an issue with Leah the last episode, but didn't say anything. Or she had an, easy, she had an issue with Leah and she just didn't address it. And then I just think she was just like the worst replacement. Like literally, Perez Hilton put her in the audience after four minutes of being on the stage at the reunion. And she stayed in the audience for the entire time. Like, girl, how do you make it to the end and you stay in the audience for the entire reunion? Seriously, Christina was on there, so we know who Perez likes more. I think so that's the end of this video. That is my opinion. Those are my honest opinion on BGC5. I'm trying to make more BGC content because it's really bringing people to my channel. And this channel is not gonna be all BGC content. I have no intentions of doing that, however, if it's bringing views to my channel and it's getting me subscribers, I'm gonna keep doing it because why would I not do that? Literally, why would I do put out a bunch of variety content and then, oh my God. Why would I Why would I not continue to do something that is getting me views? That's just not smart. But I am gonna put out more videos about Baggers Club, but I'm also gonna do my own content that I wanna do because, you know, this channel is really just me talking about what I wanna talk about. So thank you guys for liking. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter where everybody's getting dragged. And yeah, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to do more honest opinions about other seasons of Bad Girls Club, because I would totally do it, depending on how this video does. And that's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Boy, Tway named Troy, used to live in Detroit. Big dope dealing money, he was getting some coins. Was the shootouts with the law, but he lived in the palace.